Hey, what's up, Popol, as well as your boy Serrano. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Motorola Moto G Stylus 2024. And I definitely think this is going to be a solid mid-range device. Make sure you guys stay locked in because we're going to be talking about the battery life as well as the performance. We're going to be covering the cameras as well as the battery. And we're also going to be talking about the build quality and the display. So make sure you guys stay locked in if you're brand new to the channel. I truly appreciate you for coming through if you're new. If you're already a part of the crew, salute. Now, I have been a huge fan of the Motorola Moto G Stylus. The last one I picked up was the 2020 Motorola G Stylus, but then I did pick up a 4G 2023 model, which was actually pretty good. But this one seems like it's on a whole nother level when it comes to the features and overall functionality. And so I definitely think the price point of $399 for the Motorola G Stylus 2024 is going to be appropriate because this device is gonna pack a variety of features that are going to make it stand out from the rest of the pack when it comes to the mid-range price point now starting out with the build quality we're going to be getting a plastic frame with a vegan leather back material which is going to be very nice and it's going to have a grippy finish to it which is actually going to make it feel really nice in the hand because it feels like it's not going to slip out when you're using it you also do get a p oled display with 2.5d glass and 10 bit over 1 billion shades of color with the dci p3 color space and it's going to give you a 120 hertz refresh rate with 1200 nits peak brightness and a 240 hertz touch sampling rate now it seems like motorola has been taking some notes from samsung because this device does pack that sidebar with the floating apps as well as the moto notifications which actually make this device one of the best um, devices when it comes to receiving notifications because you can still see them when the screen is locked and so with the vegan leather back to it, it definitely makes me not want to use a case because that back is grippy and it also does have some really premium texture to it. It's also giving you a weight of 190 grams and this does have a water repellent design as well as the Type-C port. Another thing that's pretty solid is this device will have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack built right in with Dolby Atmos for premium sound quality, rocking the Bluetooth 5.1. As far as the internal storage, it's giving you 256 built in up to two terabytes with a micro SD card, expandable expansion. And so when it came to, you know, taking photos and pictures, you can definitely, you know, get a lot of photography and videography on here. Hey, what's up? So I'm recording in 4K right now. Very good stabilization on the viewfinder from what I see. Let me know what you guys think about the microphones on here. So this is 1080. This is actually 4K on the rear camera. So what I'm noticing is that the video is extremely stable. There's no jittering from what I could see. The colors look very saturated on the viewfinder compared to what I'm seeing in real life. So there's definitely some AI bringing out those colors a lot more because on the grass, it's very, very, very green on the grass. So I'm going to walk up to this tree right here and do a autofocus test just to see how good the quality can be when you zoom, when you focus in on something automatically. So this is like a little hair. You can see that focused in really well. Wow, good detail overall. I'm gonna take a picture when it focuses in because that looks very clear. You can see the auto focusing does a really good job. It also blends out 
and makes it look like a portrait picture when you kind of zoom in on one object and then it fades out the rest of the object. Oh, I want to get back into talking about the cameras, but let's just go ahead and take a look at the performance when it comes to Motorola G Stylus 2024, which is giving you Android 14. You also do get a hall sensor as well as a magnet for the stylus, a proximity sensor, ambient light sensor, accelerometer, a gyroscope as well. And so you're going to be able to basically do some really high performance gaming when it comes to the processor, which is the Snapdragon 6 Gen 1, which is also going to be nice because it's going to have 8 gigabytes of RAM built in on here, expandable up to 16. So when it comes to the gaming performance, it's going to be very pleasant. This is probably going to be the best display that Motorola has released when it comes to their Moto G Stylus lineup by far. It's packing some really bright, vivid colors. It's also got some enormous detail. And it also comes with a really nice set of cameras. The 50 megapixel is going to be really good, even in low light conditions. And it's going to give you ultra pixel quality which is going to ensure remarkable results so i definitely think the combination of the cameras and the performance on here is going to be very nice when you you know um factor in that you do get a built-in stylus which is allow you and you to take notes doodle edit photos and a whole lot more you also do get an instant app which is going to give you some shortcuts so that you can actually track the stylus as well now, one of the things that Motorola did add onto this device is a feature that I definitely think makes this device go to the next level when it comes to actually multimedia. And that's gonna be the Smart Connect feature. And so the Motorola G Stylus is definitely feature packed. It does offer a secure folder so you can actually store you know, secret files in there like pictures, videos, media content, you know, PDFs, any kind of file that you want to actually secure and keep on the lockdowns, kind of like a digital vault. It will have the capability to do that. And then you also do get the Smart Connect feature, which works just like a Samsung DeX device. But if you're brand new to all of this, basically what this enables you to do is connect your smartphone to a TV so you can actually do Miracast, which allows you to basically, you know, match up whatever's on your smartphone directly to a, you know, monitor or a smart TV, but then you also do get the mobile desktop mode, which gives you the functionality of a, you know, Chrome, you know, book, which is basically going to turn your smartphone into a mobile computer. So you can pair it up with monitors, PCs, laptops, anything like that. And so it's going to give you a mouse pad, which is going to give you functions. And so you have the, you know, arrow thing, which is basically when you point the phone at the smart TV, you can drag the mouse across it. So you don't actually have to, you know, scroll like how the Samsung devices do. All you have to do is move your smartphone to the spot that you want. And then you're going to see the little arrow point to it. So when I started using this feature on the Moto G stylus to my TV, I could definitely see the value of it. It definitely was a good feature to have. It enhances your productivity while allowing you to do multiple things on one display, a huge display. So you could do it on a laptop or a t smart TV, like I said before. But you also do get the ability to use multiple apps on each screen. And then you can actually split the screen and do two things at once. And if you did want to actually, you know, just watch Netflix and chill or a live sports game, then I definitely think this was going to be a perfect feature. So when it comes to customizing the Motorola G Stylus, you do have the ability to add widgets, customize the wallpaper and personalize it. So you can customize the themes, the fonts, the icon shapes. You can also customize the layout, the sounds as well. And so you can do the lock screen to your own preference as well as the, you know, um, backdrop colors too and so it's going to be a very customizable device it's also going to be very versatile very fast when it comes to the speeds on here so it ran extremely quick i didn't have any issues when it came to opening and closing any apps the moto notification um feature which you know you can check all of your incoming uh, notifications ran very nicely and so 
even with the addition of the stylus pen you get some really cool features to play around with like the smart calculator so all you have to do is draw in a an equation on the display and it's going to actually have some ai technology built in to actually get an answer for you i did notice that when i was using the stylus feature on this device whether i was doing some handwriting or just taking notes or a quick doodle i did notice that it was very responsive and so they definitely made some improvements when it comes to the feedback on here when you actually touch this display and see what you're actually um, drawing it's going to be very quick and also precise when it comes to the speeds and also the precision on there now one of the things that motorola has been known for over the years is their battery performance and the Moto G Stylus 2024 is actually no exception. Even with the 120 hertz refresh rate activated on here all day long, as well as, you know, uh, full brightness being maxed out all day, I was still able to end the day when I woke up at 7.30 and ended the day at like midnight with like 30 to 40 percent so i definitely can say that the battery is you know a testament to their engineering when it comes to the optimization it's also going to give you 30 watts uh, turbo power and 15 watts wireless charging as well and so they promise you over 40 hours of battery life depending on what type of things you're doing because everybody's battery you know is going to be a little bit different because everybody uses their smartphone in a unique way. And so one of the things I noticed about using a stylus on this device is that I was taking more notes than normal. I was also doing grocery lists and also planning out the day with this as the stylus pen and i was actually able to you know jot down different ideas so that i could stay more organized and productive throughout my work life and during my you know spare time and i was just enjoying the the features that did come on board swipe to split you also do get you know screen recording you know multiple different types of ways to do screenshots on here you know various features that were just built into this thing that just made it a full-blown you know budget beast when it comes to the you know um, capabilities and so 399 for this device is definitely going to be exceptional when it comes to the quality of the cameras as well as the performance if you just want to do some mobile gaming this thing will be capable of operating any type of you know um you know apk in the google play store as far as photography colors were very accurate you could also take shots in the nighttime with the night photography on here it did have some really good focus and clarity also it did bring out a lot of details and also you know it did provide you some good saturation too when it came to bringing out the colors on photos and videos but I definitely think that using a Moto G stylus, the performance, the battery, the build quality, the um, productivity, and even the display are some of my you know favorite things about it. I didn't really have any downsides that I, I saw just yet, but make sure you guys stay locked in with me. If you're still here, just type down below. I'm still here, so I know you're still kicking it with me. And I just want to remind you to hit the like button so we can get this video out to more people. And I'll hit you back. I'll check you guys later. Peace. Later, crew.